Hello everyone, Vishesh Kudhari here. Welcome back to Let's Learn Math. Today we are going to discuss the reflex angle. Now, before going into the reflex angle, I want you all to know one thing. If I have a point O and if I have angles around this point and if I add all of their values, all of their values, let me call this as A, B, C, D, angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D will be equal to 360 degrees. Remember that. The sum of angles about a point is 360 degrees. Now, if I have an angle X here, the other angle which is present about the point is called as the reflex angle. So, if C is an angle, angle D plus angle A plus angle B will be the reflex angle of the angle C. Okay. So, what is its application in circles? In circles, let us say that I have an arc AB which subtends an angle at the center. Okay. That is an angle 100 degrees. Now, as we know, according to theorem 1, the angle at the center is twice of the angle at the circumference. So this will be 50 degrees and according to my property of the cyclic quadrilateral can I say that A, D, B, C is a cyclic quadrilateral so therefore the opposite angles will be supplementary the sum of them will be supplementary so if this is 50 this will be 130 now I calculate the reflex angle reflex angle is how do I calculate it 360 minus this particular angle so to generalize it i will write let me call this as y reflex angle y is equal to 360 minus x so what is this x in this case it is 100 so it is 260 can you see one property this angle acb angle acb is half of the reflex angle If this is 260, this is 130. That is a very important property. Okay, this will be very useful in solving questions. Remember this. Okay, share it with your friends. Happy learning. Good luck. Bye.